Hey guys, Chova here. Another movie. Uh, <laughs> I meant to say video. It's, it's not really movie quality what I'm doing there. Uh, but check this out. I used to use Name Silo. Uh, well, I still have a ton of domains there. They had free privacy forever when uh, nobody else was doing that. All the big, big guys were doing... Uh, free privacy for one year then they charge you eight bucks a year for privacy which was a complete ripoff so anyway i went with these guys i've been with them for around 10 years not bad domains are like fucking 8.99 or something you get free email forwarding which is pretty cool because i just set up like a brisk reader i have a this hello at brisk reader all that does is forward to my gmail account um, but you can do that with damn silo but I have now been buying new domains at sav.com these guys are even cheaper if you look at their price list uh, oh, this is auction shit so 695 uh, the way to read this is the registration is on the left, back orders in the middle, transfers on the right. Um, so seven bucks. It's about a buck and a half cheaper, almost two bucks cheaper than Name Silo. And I get a lot of domains, so I seem to have an addiction that I've had for 25 years. Only uh, 25 years ago, I wasn't uh, addicted and I let domains go like Viagra.com. I actually had that in my cart because uh, I thought maybe I'll just buy this one, see if anybody buys it from me. But I decided against it because I didn't think it was worth 75 bucks. <clears throat> that was back in like 96 or 7, 95. Um, but anyway. They don't have, so these guys have custom DNS. You can do all that shit. Um, you can set your uh, DNS servers and everything. But what's really cool is I needed, they don't have the email forwarding, so I needed a service that does that. So I found these guys here. Uh, forward, and I looked around, it's called Forward email.net so I looked around they're open source that you can run this service yourself if you want um, but the pricing is uh, it's pretty much you get a 50 megabyte attachment limit which is probably the only reason I wouldn't like use this for everything but uh, for you know a marketing domain or email forwarding alias. I think it's probably good enough. Unlimited custom domains, unlimited email addresses. You can get disposable addresses. You can set it up with Gmail to reply as, and it'll reply as that domain if you really want to do that. Gmail's made it really fucking difficult to set up. I mean, if you do it all the time, it's easy, but I do it like once in a while and I always forget how to do it. But anyway, come here, set up your domain name, add your domain. Then all you have to do is add these two NS, uh, where is it? These, these two MX records, you'll get like MX1 and MX2. And then you set those with a priority of 10. And then you'll get two text records that have like the forward email. And then that, it just has your email address in it. It's just like forward dash email at and then whatever, wherever you want it to forward to. So it is going to show up publicly in your DNS records if I do that. Uh, I wonder if it'll show. Uh, I don't know if it was installed. Let's do that real quick. Maybe not who is, but 
Uh, let's see. How to query text record. CLI. Oh, it's NS lookup. <coughs> I had just recently switched to. I'm trying to de Google myself. Uh, Q text. Okay, so. What the fuck is this? And this lookup. Gotta install NS lookup. Okay, I don't know how to install NS lookup. On Arch. What DNS he tells. I gotta add that to my uh, installer script. So NS lookup. Q equals text uh, briskreader.com txt yes it is scrapable I mean someone's going to have to run the, these text queries but it's already in my who is anyway because I used to privatize everything but now I'm like okay Name King, huh? Fuck is Name King? Oh, they 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 on staff. Okay. Uh, I guess I have privacy on for this one, but when I build these little apps and work on them, when I get bored with them, like I'm willing to sell them off, and I've made some money that way in in the past. So I actually don't hide my who is record on that stuff anymore. You do get some spams from, like, these offshore, quote-unquote, web development companies, but uh, it goes away after about two or three weeks. Um, so anyway, yeah, that's all you got to do. You set up the this, uh, and then you're done. And then, like, you can go test it. I don't think you can email to your own account through that because it'll be a loop. Um, but you can go to like Tuda. I'm using Tuda.io. You can go there and uh, set up an account. It's free. Uh, one gig storage, one user. Limited search, yeah. One calendar. Oh, they have calendars now. Okay. They're not very good. I'm, I'm kind of debating if I should move to Proton Mail, but anyway, I just wanted to show you guys this uh, uh, forward email because if you've ever tried to set up and host your own email, I mean, some of you guys out there are probably way more skilled at system than I am. But I tried it once, and I vowed never to. I got it working, but I vowed never to fucking do that again. <coughs> So, until I get off Gmail, I'll, I'll, I'll still be using web hosting. Email providers, I think. I just gotta get a good calendar, because Gmail is like so fucking... Uh, anytime somebody sends me a calendar invite, it just works. It kind of sucks, because I, and I, want, I want to get off Gmail and Google altogether. Alright, that's it for now. See you guys. Thanks, bye.